Huh, I wonder what wild Pokemon I can find in this area. What the? Oh, what is this? I suspect that you are a challenger. Well, if you didn't know, I am the most intelligent being in the universe. A simpleton like you could never comprehend the extension of the unfathomable intellect that flows through my mind. The systematic anomaly of you and I crossing paths is just a conjunction of the inner universe infinitely creating possibilities. Vis-a-vis, -vis, a mere coincidence. Ergo, the significance of this encounter is but no importance to me because of my intellect. Yeah, well, why can't you learn five moves then? <laughs> that could be answered qu quite... Wait. Wait a minute, he's right. Why, why can't I learn five moves? I can solve algorithmic equations faster than the world's smartest supercomputer. I can create matter out of nothing but with just my mind. But I can't learn five moves in battle. How could this be? What's going on here? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Dummy. What is going on guys, this is Dobbs here, bringing you another Pokemon video. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the top 10 smartest Pokemon of all time. So yeah, with that said, without further ado, let's get started. Number 10. Starting off this list, we have Malamar. Now, Malamar in the Pokemon anime was interesting because there was one Malamar that was wanting to take over the world. And to have that thought of taking over the world, you have to have some kind of grip of being intelligent, right? Especially when this Malamar took over the mind of an officer, Jenny, to talk to Ash and his friends to fool them to get power for his machine that would enhance his powers to mind control everybody in the world. It was a pretty complex plan for just a Pokemon, so it gives a lot of points to its intelligence. On top of that, it is based on a squid, maybe even a cuttlefish. And in the real world, these squids are incredibly intelligent. So intelligent that some scientists believe in 200 million years that they will become the smartest organism in the world. They will evolve just like humans did and develop a smarter brain and start building spaceships and stuff and go into outer space. There's even a TV show that displays these squids in 200 million years on how scientists believe they will look like. So Malamar being based on a squid also gives it some points to be an intelligent. Not to mention that its hair looks like a mad scientist, so maybe that's a nod to how intelligent it is. But the reason why it's still on this list is because it really has no Pokedex entry that states how smart this Pokemon is. And also it was outsmarted by a couple of 10 year olds, so it can't be that smart, right? However though, in the anime, the Malamar that was wanting to take over the world escaped, so it's out there still trying to scheme on how it's gonna have world domination. So maybe in a dystopian timeline in the Pokemon anime, this Malamar actually takes over the world and becomes the king and ruler of Earth. But until then, it is number 10 on this list. Number 9 Coming in at number 9, we have Orbeetle. Now, there really isn't much to say about Orbeetle because there haven't really been any Orbeetle in the anime. But in the Pokemon games, there has been a lot of talk about the size of these bug brains. Because according to his Pokemon Sword Pokedex entry, it states that it's famous for its high level of intelligence. And the large size of its brain is proof that it also possesses immense psychic power. So Orbeetle probably started as a regular bug, but then got in such a big brain that it developed psychic powers. And for being the only bug psychic type Pokemon, that's saying a lot. Because I guess there has been no other bug that has gotten so smart and has gotten such a big brain that it develops psychic powers. And on top of that, when a Gigantamax, it states that his brain has grown to a gargantuan size. And that his Pokemon's intellect and psychic abilities are overpowering. And they are overpowering so much that it can take over the minds of civilians and Pokemon around it into like a humongous radius. So probably when it's in this Gigantamax form, it's probably an intellectual genius. It's, it's probably very smart. And in addition to that, Orbital resembles an alien, and its Gigantamax form resembles a UFO. And aliens are known to be a more advanced creature than humans, so if it's based on an alien, it's probably very smart. So don't be surprised when you see a very intelligent Orbeetle in the Pokemon anime down the road because it's probably going to do something crazy. It might be the next Malamar and wanting to take over the world. It might even join forces. But since there's not much more information about it, that is why it's number 9 on this list. Number 8 
for number eight, we have Ash's Pikachu. Now man, Ash's Pikachu must be a battling genius because it has gone against the logic of Pokemon several times. Like for example, it was able to hit Brox's Onyx and Blaine's Rhinehorn with electric type moves. And I know, Brox's Onyx was covered in water from the sprinkler system, but it is still a ground type Pokemon, so it should have been hit at all. Especially with Thundershock, which was probably the weakest move that Pikachu could have used. And with Rhyhorn, I, I don't even understand that, because apparently Rhyhorn's horn is his weak point, but does that even matter when it's a ground type? I guess not for Ash's Pikachu, because this Pikachu is just a battling genius. Another thing to give this Pikachu when it comes to its intelligence is the fact that it was able to use Thunder on a Swellow. And then by doing this, it gave the Swellow Thunder Armor. Yeah. Like, how does that even work? Like, how do you figure that out? How do you not damage the Swellow and give it armor with your electricity? I'm telling you, this Pikachu is gifted. Like, what other Pikachu can do that? What other Pokemon can do that in general? And not only that, but in the recent anime, this Pikachu actually Gigantamax without a Dynamax ban. Yeah, Ash didn't even own a Dynamax ban, and Pikachu was able to Gigantamax without it. This Pikachu is just a genius. It, it knows how to surpass things that are locked in logic. But you know what's even better than defeating a ground type Pokemon with a legend type move and Gigantamaxing without a ban? It's defeating Tobias's legendary Pokemon, Latios. Yes, this Pikachu actually defeated a Latios by the, one of the strongest trainers we've seen in the anime. So not only does it have the whiz to surpass logic, but it has the whiz to defeat a legendary Pokemon. But for some reason, just a few more episodes later, it loses to a level 5 Snivy that has never battled in its life. So it has these peaks of being a genius, but then it has these valleys of like, like what the heck is going on, Pikachu? So for the fact that it's not consistently a battling genius and it has these like little lol moments, I think number eight is a great spot for this Pikachu. Number seven. For number seven, we have Oranguru. Now, where does it start with Oranguru? Because this Pokemon is very mysterious and unique from the Alolan region. Because apparently, long ago, people used to think that Oranguru were the humans of the forest. Because they would see Oranguru use items that humans would normally use. Like, for example, using a Super Potion on an injured Pokemon or even a Paralyzed Heal on a Paralyzed Pokemon. These Oranguru were intelligent enough to know which item did what and how could they unnurse these injured Pokemon. But it gets even crazier because according to the Pokemon website, the, the legit Pokemon website, Warren Gru have been sighted using Pokeballs on other Pokemon and actually using them in battle against their opponents. Yeah, Warren Guru is basically a pseudo human. It's a pseudo trainer. It can actually battle with other Pokemon and command them like a human would, which is something I've never seen any other Pokemon do in the history of Pokemon. Oren Guru is the first and only ever. Maybe Oren Guru is the missing link to apes and humans because that is ridiculous. It even says it in its Ultra Sun Pokedex entry. It throws Pokeballs and gives other Pokemon orders as it pleases, which is just bad, man. And to really top it off, this one's a huge one. According to his Moon Pokedex entry, it matched Wits with Slowking. And as you'll see later in this top 10, Slowking is a very, very intelligent Pokemon. So if it can match with, with a Slow King, that is very impressive. So Oranguru is very slept on when it comes to its intelligence, and it may be a little too low on this list, but the next six are incredibly smart, so it's really hard to tell where it actually lies. But for now, we'll leave it at number seven. Number six. For number six, we have Drake's Dragonite. Now, Drake's Dragonite from the Pokemon anime is not just any normal Dragonite. It is a Dragonite that knows the most moves ever known by a Pokemon in a single episode in a single anime series ever. Because not only did Drake's Dragonite use four moves in the battle against Ash, this Dragonite used 10 moves. Yes, more than double than the max amount that you're normally supposed to learn in Pokemon. It used Hyper Beam, Water Gun, Ice Beam, Slam, Dragon Rage, Thunderbolt, Body Slam, Skull Bash, Agility, and Thunder. And from the writer of this episode himself, Atsuhiro Tomioka, he says that he purposely made this Dragonite know 10 moves to make him seem unstoppable, so that it would give the illusion to the viewers and Ash that this Dragonite was the best of the best, since it was the final match of the Orange League. And I know what you're thinking, if this Dragonite lost to Ash's Pikachu, why isn't Ash's Pikachu up here above this Dragonite? Because even though it's so smart to know 10 moves, shouldn't Ash's Pikachu be smarter by outsmarting this Pokemon? 
Well, not exactly, because Dragonite as a Pokemon by itself is an insanely intelligent Pokemon. Because if you look at his first ever Pokedex entry from Red and Blue, it says that its intelligence matched that of humans. So basically right here is confirmation that Dragonite is as smart as humans. Which was basically the tipping point to why I put it above Ash's Pikachu and Orin Guru. And I'm still highly debating if Drake's Dragonite should be above Orin Guru or not, but knowing 10 moves is just unreal. So for this top 10, I think Drake's Dragonite is number 6 for the list. Number 5 Coming in at number 5, we have Slowking. Now, just like Meowth and Team Rocket, Slowking are able to talk. And out of all the other Pokemon in the anime, Slowking and the Meowth from Team Rocket are the only Pokemon that can speak human language without mind control or psychic abilities. Yeah, these two are the only ones. And no, telepathy doesn't count, because a lot of legendary Pokemon can do that, but that, that's through their psychic abilities or, or powers. Which is pretty dang remarkable because the anime has been around for over 25 years, so you would think there would be more than just two of them. But anyways, when a shelter bites the head of a slowpoke wearing a king's rock, it injects toxins that goes inside of his brain. And on top of that, every time Slowking yawns, these toxins are re-injected into his brain to make it even more intelligent. So Slowking basically has standby steroids for his brain when it needs to figure out a, a math problem or something. And Slowkey becomes so intelligent by these toxins that, according to his Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Pokedex entry, the shelter gave Slowpoke the intelligence comparable to an award-winning scientist. So basically, Slowkey has the intelligence of a Nobel Prize-winning scientist. And you have to keep in mind, these are the smartest people on Earth, and Slowkey is comparable with them. Which is pretty ridiculous and impressive for a Pokemon. Especially a Pokemon that was insanely dumb beforehand. You know, I wonder if there are people in the Pokemon world that purposely have a shelter bite their head with the King's Rock in hopes that they would grow smarter. That would definitely be a funny sight to see. But yeah, just for the Pokedex entry alone, Slowking deserves a spot of number 5 for this list. Which may seem pretty low, but the next four are just insanely smart. They are in their grand masters in chess when they were 1 second years old. Number four. Coming in at number 4, we have Metagross. Now, Metagross is this high for one single reason, and that reason is, is that it's apparently more efficient than a supercomputer. Because, according to his Pokemon Ruby Pokedex entry, Metagross's combined four brains can breathe through calculations faster than a supercomputer. And after looking up the definition of a supercomputer, this Pokedex entry makes a lot of sense now, because apparently a supercomputer is a network of computers working together. So, Metagross's four brains are working together to create an ultra brain that is insanely intelligent. And technically, Metagross itself is a supercomputer, a, a living one in fact, a one that is sentient. So it's not operating on algorithms and codes, it is its own being and can do things at its will. Like, just the thought of Metagross fusing together to create an Ultra Metagross reminds me of this book I read called The Metamorphosis of Prime Intellect, which is basically about an AI that crowds so many supercomputers together that it basically becomes a singularity, it, it becomes a god. And Metagross is known for fusing because that's how Metagross even evolves, it's two Metangs fusing together. So if they could figure out how to fuse together and create a Prime Metagross, that would be... Th that would be insane. But so far in the canon of Pokemon, Metagross hasn't figured out how to do that yet. So for now, a single Metagross will rank number 4 on this list. Number 3 Coming in at number 3, we have Mewtwo. Now, the reason why Mewtwo is so high on this list is mainly due to the first Pokemon movie. Because after destroying the entire facility and the scientists along with it, Mewtwo decides to recreate everything and call it its own. So it recreates the entire facility with the cloning devices, it creates this Mewtwo ball that captures other trans Pokemon and then puts them in the cloning devices and makes them even stronger. And just creating the Mewtwo ball themselves is a very impressive feat because I rate these balls very high in my top 10 strongest Pokeball video. And I'm sure it takes a lot of insight to create a very powerful Pokeball, one of the strongest Pokeballs of all time in fact, and also a cloning device that clones Pokemon. And even if B2 had the schematics to create all of this, it, it's still very impressive that he did it by himself. There's no mention anywhere that I can find that Mewtwo had help from anybody. 
And then on top of recreating this facility, E2 has this plan to invite all these strong trainers around the region and clone their strong Pokemon to prove his point that clones are superior to regular things. But as we all know, Me Too has a change of heart due to Ash's actions, and that just gives it a lot more points to its brain power because it, it takes a very intellectual person to realize that they're in the wrong, especially after being so keyed on what, what your stance was. And just to put the icing on the cake, in the manga it states that Mewtwo shares DNA with humans. Because when cloning Mew, Blaine puts his DNA to complete the process so that Mewtwo could be born. So Mewtwo having the same DNA as humans also gives it a lot of points to his intellectual scale. So to sum it up, Mewtwo is incredibly smart. And that is why I placed it at number 3 for this list. Number 2 Coming in at number 2, we have Alakazam. Now, Alakazam is on this list for one simple reason, and that reason is, is that according to his Pokemon Red and Blue Pokedex entry, Alakazam supposedly has the IQ of 5000. And to put that in perspective, many people believe that Albert Einstein had the IQ of 160. And as you probably knew, Albert Einstein is widely acknowledged to be the greatest physicist of all time, being the one who developed the theory of relativity, and also the one who made major contributions to the development of the theory of quantum mechanics. And Albert Einstein only had an IQ of 160, which is not even double, triple, quadruple, 10 times, 20 times less than Alakazam's. It is 31.25 times less than Alakazam's IQ of, of 5,000. So one Alakazam equates to 31 Albert Einsteins, which... <laughs> That's just insane. If Albert Einstein is known as the greatest physicist of all time, then what would Alakazam be known as in the Pokemon universe? And this is just Alakazam in his base form, because when it mega evolves, it becomes even smarter. It becomes so intelligent that it can foresee the future and also just look at people and know everything that happened in their lives. Like, the IQ of 5000 is just unfathomable, because just having the IQ of 500 would have put you in the category of the smartest human of all time. And with that IQ, you'd probably have the knowledge of a full adult at just one month old. And by the time you hit one years old, you'd probably have a college degree in every subject and be known to be the savant of everything. And at two years old, you probably would solve world peace and world hunger and, and colonize other planets. It, Jesus. And that's only a tenth of what Alakazam's supposed IQ is. So Alakazam is insanely smart, and the leap from YouTube to Alakazam is is a lot. It's like planets away. Having the IQ of 5,000 just just puts you in a different category. And yeah, for that very reason is why I chose Alakazam for number two on this list. But it's not quite as smart as number one. Number one. Now for number one, the smartest Pokemon of all time is. Now, okay, there is a caveat to this one, because if Arceus created the universe, obviously Arceus is going to be more smart than Uxie. But according to Arceus' Pokedex entries, it states that in mythology, it is said that Arceus created the universe with his 1,000 arms. So that's not 100% proof that Arceus did it all by himself, because the unknown could have had something to do with it. And also, it says mythology, so it's not straight up fact. But with Uzi, on the other hand, in his Pokedex entry, it states that it's the being of knowledge. And in the lore of Pokemon, it's quite literally the embodiment of knowledge. Because just like his two counterparts, Mesper and Azelf, with emotion and willpower, Uxie created all knowledge in the Pokemon universe. Because when humans first emerged, thanks to Uxie, they were given knowledge so they could solve problems and improve their quality of life. So being the being of knowledge definitely makes you the smartest Pokemon in, in the universe. Even with Alakazam's 5000 IQ, it, it just can't beat Uxie because Uxie knows everything. It, it created all of knowledge. So basically, Uxie has an infinite IQ, which, <laughs> yeah, it, it's a god. It's a demigod at least. But yeah, for the sole reason that is the embodiment of knowledge and created all the knowledge in the Pokemon universe, that is why I picked Uxie for the smartest Pokemon of all time. And there you go, the top 10 smartest Pokemon of all time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to support me on Patreon, click on the button right here. I spend days, if not weeks, on these videos, and the YouTube algorithms really favor that, so it helps me out a ton. You get to talk to me and also see sneak peeks of future videos, so there's a lot of cool things that come with being a Patreon. And also, if you want to binge watch my videos, be sure to click on the end card right now and start binging. And yeah, that's all for this video, and I'll see y'all next time. See ya.